hello good viewers you are highly welcome uh, let's see how we are going to solve this problem here so the question said x to power 3 equals 3 to power x for x belong to set of real numbers okay so we are going to be looking for the uh, possible solutions of what of x here so you can see uh, obviously we can have the x to be 3 here but how can we solve that okay we need to prove that x equals to 3 that's the obvious solution then we're going to have this uh, we are going to introduce natural log to the both sides of this uh, equation we have what we have ln of x to power 3 equals ln of 3 to power x so now from here this 3 is going to come down here and multiply ln of x we have 3 ln of x equals a x we come down to we have ln of 3 so now from there so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to separate the variables and with and the uh, constant so if i divide through by 3x like this so we see that this 3 we cancel this 3 here x we cancel the x here so this implies that ln of x over x equals what ln of 3 over what over 3 so now from here we can see that here we have x we have 3 here we have x so now comparing the two sides of this equation so we can see that this is equals to this and look at this place okay equals to that so this is telling us that we have the first possible solution of x to be what to be 3 okay that's the first one okay so if you want to check so when you put x equals 3 here you're going to see that we have 3 to power 3 give us 27 and here 3 to power 3 we also give us what 27 right so now we move further by looking at the another you know solution to the uh, problem so we are going to be using what we call lambert lambert w function to get the second what the second and the lambert w function state that when you have w of a e to power a this will give us back a are you getting it now so that is what lambda w function is so i'm going to bring the i'm going to bring this equation back 3 to power x which implies that ln of x over x equals ln of 3 over 3 because that is what we resorted to here so i'm bringing this back to this place so now from here we are now going to go by lambda w function so now from here you can see that i have the right hand side here to be constant you know purely and here we have ln of x over x so now what i'm going to do is i can write this left hand side as ln of x okay multiply by 1 over x I try to split ln of x from x this is what i'm going to be having which is equals ln of x ln of 3 over 3 then also we can have this if you remember from the law of indices when you have 1 over a this can be written as a to power minus 1 i'm going to be writing 1 over x like that you have ln of x x to power this is multiplied by x over minus 1 equals ln of 3 over what over 3 are you following so now we move on so now we're going to have ln of x dot x to power minus 1 so now another thing i'm going to do here is that remember that if you have x like this x can be written as e lin x 
so because this e and lin they are inverse to each other so e we cancel lin then the x will be dropped then we have x so now for because we want to go with the lambert w function which involve our e here so we are going to bring about this e by writing this x to power minus one so if i have x to power minus one okay i want to write it in this form it will be e lean x to power minus one right so therefore i'm going to take this i will replace this x to power minus one by e to power lean x raised to power minus one understood so from there we are going to be having lean x then here is going to be e lean x to power minus one equals lean three over what over three are you following so now we move on so we can see this is getting uh interesting so now from here this is lean x to power minus one we can rewrite this as lean x e to power this minus or negative one can come to the back then we have minus lean x equals lean 3 over what over 3 so now we go further we can see here when you look at this lambert w function that we are given here you can see that the value or uh, the constant value multiplying e is what e is raised to and it's what we are giving or uh, what will be our result well when you look at this one here we are having lin x here, we are having minus lin x here. so according to the lambert function so this power of e and the coefficient of e must be the same okay so what we are going to do now is that we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by minus one okay then equals minus ln of three over three so now from there so we can see now that this can now be minus ln of x e to power minus ln of x equals minus ln of three over what over three are you following so now the next thing we're going to do so we can see that we cannot have the coefficient of e be the same thing with the power of e therefore we can now apply the w lambert function to this equation okay equals this minus ln3 over 3 so now from there so you can see having this and this the same according to lambert function so we're going to have this left hand side is going to be minus ln of x equals w minus ln of 3 over what over 3 so uh, from here we can write this ln of x to be ln x to power minus 1 okay equals w minus ln of 3 over what over 3 so now from there so what do you think we're going to do from here so we introduce e to the both sides if we introduce e to the both sides this e we cancel this one we're going to have x minus 1 equals e to the power of w minus ln of 3 over what over 3 so now from there we can write this as 1 over x from the law of indices equals e w minus ln of 3 over what over 3 so now from there so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to have taking the reciprocal or before that we need to recall that now whenever you have e to power w alpha okay is going to be the reason i'm doing this i want to get rid of this e here so this will be written as alpha divided by that is whatever you have as the function of w here then w alpha 
I get it now. So now that is what we are going to do. So now from there, I'm now going to write this now. I'm going to write this, okay, this in that, this in this form. So you can see that 1 over x is now going to be, I will rewrite this in this what in this form that's going to be minus ln of 3 divided by 3 okay then this division here i will change it to this sign division sign like this okay then here i mean this one i have division i will change this to division sign here then w and that's going to be w minus ln of 3 over what over 3 I get it now so now from there so what do you think we have I'm going to have 1 over x equals 1 over x equals minus ln of 3 over 3 you know this is like over 1 if I change this to multiplication it's going to be 1 over w minus ln of 3 over what over 3 are you following so now from there i have 1 over x equals everything here is going to be minus ln of 3 multiplied by 1 minus ln of 3 over 3 into brackets or let's say w minus ln of 3 over 3 okay so now from here we're going to take the reciprocal so therefore we're going to have x is going to be 3 we go up don't forget that we have the negative I can bring the negative out 3 we go up that is 3 W minus ln of 3 over 3 okay divided by ln of 3 that's what we're going to have or we have this approximately I mean the value of x to be equals two point four seven eight zero five and that's the solution so therefore we have two possible value x equals three and x equals two point four seven eight zero five and you know that they are belongs to a set of real numbers so thank you so much for watching if you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to share this class to your colleagues so that they can benefit from this kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to see more of our amazing classes bye bye